What's going on guys? This is King Tar Heel and we are doing some rank up tips for Battlefield 3. Uh, this is, let me make one thing perfectly clear, this is not going to help you uh, get any better at Battlefield 3. It's not going to help you get the respect of your peers at Battlefield 3. This is essentially how to help you rank up uh, quicker, whether it be a weapon, a, a class, a kit, uh, or just general points. Uh, if you're just getting new to the game, this is something that I'd recommend as you can pick up some of the weapons that will help give you an advantage. Uh, the main thing that I just want to stress is play Operation Metro. It's a terrible map, it's awful, uh, it's poorly designed, It's but you can get more kills uh, in Operation Metro than you can playing anywhere else. Uh, like right here we you know start off the match uh, with a triple kill uh, essentially just shooting down a hallway. Uh, ducks in a barrel. It's you know pretty simple, nothing too complicated. Uh, so that's really the tip, tip number one. It does get boring, it does get frustrating, but it'll help you uh, rank up. If you get that new weapon, if you unlock the, the assignments and you get the, uh, and you want to get some of the new weapons, and then once you get the weapons, you want to level up the weapons, uh, play some Operation Metro. Uh, the second thing, if you're just trying to get points, you're trying to get points to get uh, a new kit or a, a level or something like that, I would recommend doing uh, playing the assault class, uh, just trying to get points, and you know, reviving. Uh, you'll get a ton of points just from reviving. You'll get a ton of points from just shooting down the hallways. And uh, there's uh, two ways to go about it. You, I usually do the uh, the heal kit because I don't I don't like the grenade launcher, but I've had some games where I've just tried to get a certain number of kills and pulled out the grenade launcher, and I've had you know. 30 to 2 games, you know, 40 to 2 games, stuff like that, um, that kind of stuff. If your kill ratio, your kill death ratio, you want to artificially uh, improve that, uh, that's that's the way to go. Pull out your, pull out your grenade launcher and just start shooting it down the hallway, uh, or the rocket launcher or anything like that. And uh, obviously it'll help. Uh, here we're doing a revive, uh, fail patty cake. The next tip, uh, specifically, I like to... <laughs> another failed patty cake. Uh, right here is my favorite spot to go in the Operation Metro map. I like because you can just, you can peer two different places where uh, they're coming and you can duck for cover real easily. Again, it'll help you with your kill-death ratio. And if you stay up top on the stairs, so sometimes you got to get aggressive, but if you stay up top on the stairs, you're generally always going to get a revive. The other thing, if you're trying to pad your win-loss stats, uh, always switch to the team that is coming from the cafe. Uh, the map is incredibly in imbalanced. Uh, it doesn't work. The, there's such an advantage for coming from the cafe. I win 95% of the time uh, coming from the cafe. So that's uh, another tip there if you're trying to improve your win-loss ratio. Another tip I want to give you guys is about sniper rifles. Uh, I had a terrible time with sniper rifles starting out. Um, I don't think you start out with a really good scope on any of them. Uh, I may be mistaken. I don't play sniper that often. But one of the things that I did do was I just completely removed the scope of my sniper rifle or put on a regular uh, 1x scope and would use it like an assault rifle. And I would just get a bunch of kills and I would rank up on my recon class that way. Um, it was a great uh, way, it, you know, close quarter combat, if you're really bad at sniping like I am, I'm trying to get better, uh, but if you're really, really bad at sniping, that's a, that's a good way to try and get uh, some easy kills and uh, either rank up a weapon or rank up your recon class until you unlock uh, whatever you're looking for in the kit. Yeah, I spotted an enemy soldier, over. Again, I want to stress that uh, this is not to help you become a better player. I can do another video that will give some basic tips if you really want to become a better player. This is strictly about ranking up, trying to get more kills with the weapon, trying to unlock new weapons, uh, unlocking new kits and stuff like that. It's a really effective way to do it. There's tons of servers out there that are running Metro 24-7. You can get a thousand uh, ticket matches, and I've had matches where you know I've gotten 60, 70,000 points, I've gotten you know, 40, 50 kills in a match, and when you're getting those kind of kills, you can rank up and uh, get levels pretty quickly uh, if you can deal with the uh, the terrible map and the monotonous of it and the fact that you're essentially just shooting down hallways constantly.
One tip I do want to bring up for the assault class is to try and do what the rest of your team isn't doing. So if there's someone just running around and they have the defib out and all they're doing is just defibbing everyone, that's your cue to be as aggressive as possible. Uh, that way you're probably going to get a revive. So if you can kill someone and then die and then get a revive, if you do that 10 times over, uh, you know, that's 10 to 0 uh, in your kill death ratio. Uh, and you'll get a lot of points that way and uh, get a lot of uh, upgrades that way as well. So. And if you keep dying and you keep having to re, uh, respawn without getting a revive, then that's probably time for if you're assaulted to pull out your defib and just go to work uh, standing back and defibbing everyone. You can get an absolute monster amount of points that way as well. Well, this game is wrapping up, guys. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the tips uh, for Battlefield 3 on how to rank up uh, pretty quickly. Uh, if you got that new weapon or you got that new kit you're trying to trying to start with, this is a great place to get the ball rolling. Or if you just like shooting down hallways and uh, mindless uh, action or running into your teammates, it's also a great place for that as well. Uh, so that's it. Uh, thanks guys for watching. Uh, if you could like the video, subscribe, leave me some comments on what you guys want to see. Uh, that'd be greatly appreciated. I do look at those. And uh, that's it. Take care.